days are never ending When the nights are feeling lonely There's a place that I can go Where the birds are free to roam In the sky, flying high Over fields of green and Where the stars inside the sky Where the last one shining bright Pushing through the storm and night We'll be burning on and on Shining bright, pushing through the storm and night. We'll be burning on and on and on. Hello, Taurus. This is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 16th of October until the 22nd of October 2017. The first card for you is representing. How do you feel about yourself? Your card is. The Six of Pentacles. Now that you have lived through the darkness long enough to see the inner light, it is time to help others who are not so fortunate. Consider giving to charity or reaching out a helping hand to someone who needs your support. The generosity of the six does not limit itself to money and material things. Giving of your time or your wisdom is often just as spiritually fulfilling as giving away money or gifts, and the intangible gift of your presence is received just as well, if not better. You may also be inclined to make a loan to someone, on the premise that they will eventually pay you back once they are back on their feet. This is a loan built on trust and good faith, knowing that if you give something away, it will come back to you. Remember, though, that this is more about a short-term fix and not a sustainable solution towards self-sufficiency. So, think about how you can financially support your family or friends in a way that encourages them to stand on their own two feet eventually. If you are the beggars in the Six of Pentacles, then you may be the recipient of someone else's charitable activities. This will help you to get back on your feet and to eventually repay the charitable organization or individual, either with your time or your restored wealth. You will also need to identify ways in which you can become more self-sufficient in the long run. The risk of accepting charity is that you become dependent on it and cannot look after yourself. Be mindful that you are not becoming submissive or noticeably desperate as a result of the charity that someone else is providing you. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is. The Fool. What do you want most right now is to set forth on a new journey, one that is completely unknown and will take you to uncharted territories. The Fool is all about new experiences, personal growth, development and adventure. The Fool card asks you to take a leap of faith and to trust in the universe in that if you begin a new journey, you will find success. This Fool lives a carefree life, free from worry and anxiety. He does not seem to mind if he does not really know what lies ahead. The Fool card may represent a choice to be made one of vital importance. However, there are always many different options available and the choice must be made wisely. If you are facing a decision or moment of doubt, the fool encourages you to believe in yourself and follow your heart no matter how crazy or foolish your impulses may seem. This is a time when you need to truly believe and have faith in where the universe is taking you. The Fool is an excellent card to meditate on if you are experiencing a lot of fear in your life. The Fool enhances courage, risk-taking and the creative expression needed to open up new areas in your life. The Fool is always whole, healthy and without fear. He is the spirit of who we are, the spirit expressed and experienced as wonder, awe, curiosity and anticipation. We never know what is in the future but like the fool we must blindly go forward. You need to trust that you are a spirit born into flesh to enjoy life and grow in experience. 
take a chance and see what happens. The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the six of wands. You are afraid and doubting your abilities and your potential for success. You may feel negatively about yourself and as if you have failed both yourself and others. You are lacking confidence, and need the support and recognition of others to pick you up and give you strength again. You have had a fall from grace and have not received the public recognition you were seeking. You have either received no feedback for your efforts, or negative feedback. You may have expected things would have worked well but instead you are being punished in some way or you are being neglected for your efforts thus far. Now, your confidence has taken a hit, as has your professional reputation or at least your perception of your reputation. If a particular project has not been as successful as you had hoped, you may be no better off moving to a new environment so that you can rebuild your personal reputation and brand, rather than trying to fix something that has already broken. You may be trying to achieve too many things at once and may not be doing a good job at juggling all of these commitments. It may be best to focus on only a few things and do them well. This will help you feel more inspired and motivated about the activities you do commit to. This card can reflect the transitory nature of success. One moment, you are on top of the world because you have achieved great things but then the expectation has been set that you will continue to perform to this level and when you do not, then you are suddenly knocked down and criticized. While victory and triumph feel great at the time, recognize that it is only temporary and you will have to continue sustaining a high level of performance to be acknowledged. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the nine of cups. You are feeling happy in all areas of your life such as health, finances, work, luck, love or relationships. This is your wish card as its appearance is often taken as a sign that, whatever your heart's desire, it shall be granted in the coming days or weeks. Know that you have paved our own way on the path to success. As a cups card, the nine usually refers to an emotionally fulfilling situation, such as the strengthening of a romantic bond, the solidification of a friendship or the consummation of a sexual relationship. It shows that joy and happiness are within your grasp. In fact, you probably already have them. It is a sign to enjoy the abundance of life and to feel each of your emotions as if you had never felt any of them before. See the perfection all around you. The Nine of Cups is also about counting your blessings, living in the moment, and enjoying the good things that life has to offer. Start or end every day by creating a mental list of the three things you are most grateful for. You will find that over time, you indeed have a lot to be happy about and it may increase your feeling of deep contentment and fulfillment. The Nine of Cups represents stability and advancement. This card signals delight and pleasure, contentment with what you have accomplished so far and forms a steady foundation for the future. Your worries are all in the past and you can look forward to a bright future. The man in the Nine of Cups also appears to have a certain smug look on his face. Indulge yourself in knowing that you have worked hard to get here and you have achieved the results you had hoped for. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the Seven of Cups. You are afraid that your dreams and fantasies will not come true in your life. Your views of life at this time are a bit illusory, and may tend toward fantasies that cannot actually be realized in the real world. There is an unwillingness to deal with the day-to-day -day reality of life, and a need to get your head out of the clouds. You may be feeling unclear about what you are really searching for in order to become fulfilled. You may also be hiding something from yourself that probably has to do with your subconscious emotions. 
these illusions and diversions need to be stripped away and seen for what they really are. You are refusing to examine yourself and to ask yourself what will truly fulfill you. Instead of taking a few quiet moments to reflect, you are using every waking hour to consume yourself with the active pursuits of things which may or may not satisfy you. You need to stop and give yourself some time and space to think carefully about where your best intentions lie. On a more positive note, the Seven of Cups can indicate a time when you are finally breaking through a fog of confusion and illusion to focus on your chosen goal. With resolution and purpose, you are now setting your intentions and finding solutions. The last card for you is representing the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is the Six of Swords. You will need to make a regretful transition, as a likely result of the decisions you make. You know that in order to move forward, you must leave something important behind, and while you do this with some regret, you know that in the long term it is the best option for you. There are times when you will be forced to let go of something to which you have been attached, and the process of letting go is often quite challenging. However, the sadness of your loss will soon be replaced by greater clarity, bringing about a renewed acceptance of change. Do not be afraid to let go of whatever it is that is holding you in the present or the past. Instead look to your future and choose the best option that has the greatest long-term potential. There are going to be some hard decisions and some compromises that you will need to make but this is ultimately a rite of passage that will take you into a new phase of your life. You need to realize that you are now headed towards a much better position in life. You have endured, or are currently enduring, a difficult life transition but as a result, you will be more able to deal with what may come. Do not dwell on the past or what you have left behind. Instead, use this as an opportunity for changing your beliefs about yourself, moving away from whom you used to be and towards whom you really want to be. Sometimes the only way to solve life's problems is to leave them behind you and go somewhere new to start over. While it may feel as though you are giving up or being a coward, Escape is often the only approach left when all others have failed. The important thing now is that you chart a new course that will lead to greater happiness and joy. The Six of Swords also shows the need to draw upon a state of mental clarity, logic and objectivity in order to examine where you have been and where you are going. This mental clarity will also serve to smooth the way ahead and make the passage from negative to positive as peaceful as possible. You can use your intuition to guide you through easy situations and call upon your impartial and analytical nature when it is needed for a more complex decision. More literally, the Six of Swords can indicate a trip across water. There may be some sadness in terms of who you will need to leave behind you but you know that this trip will do you a world of good. An example might be someone who is about to travel on their own, leaving behind a partner who they will sorely miss. You may also be required to make a longer term move from one location to another, where you will leave behind friends and family in order to explore or experience a new territory. Again, while you will miss those you leave behind, you will also find that you have an amazing time on your travels and will learn so much about yourself. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the Dark Blue Galactic Dragon. Your soul journey has taken you to the stars and beyond. The Dark Blue Galactic Dragons now invite you to communicate with the Masters of the Universe, the Intergalactic Council, where you can contribute your energy for the smooth ascension of the planet. It is time to listen and serve. Ask the wondrous dragon who has come to you to tune you into the Intergalactic Council, where you will be offered the honor of petitioning the Council. Decide whether your petition is for the welfare of animals or humanity, or to assist the ascension of the planet. 
then ask the dragon to take you to the council to present your petition. Dark blue galactic dragons will also instruct you during meditation or sleep. This will enable you to serve in a galactic capacity and will hugely expand your energy fields. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.